eight years of live streaming, five years on YouTube, and newfound popularity on TikTok. This video will talk about how daily live streamer Hyphonics went from a creepy Omegle troller to wife murderer. But before we talk about what he's done recently, we have to talk about his humble beginnings. John Sakadorian was born in September 1996 and knew he wanted to be a content creator at a young age. After going through his almost 10 years of content, it's safe to say that he's done it all. Clash of Clans, Old School RuneScape, IRL streams, esports commentator, multiple collaborations, even proposing to his girlfriend Sophia on stream. But what could drive someone who's so transparent about his relationship to want to kill his wife? To answer that question, we have to look at when his Twitch account got banned and he had to migrate over to YouTube. Because I know a lot of people are probably asking the question, what am I gonna be doing now? Because I think this is my third permanent ban. The ban like 12 yeah, times. Second permanent ban. The first permanent ban, I got banned for a year, came back after a year, um, and then this one was another permanent ban, and I was gone for two years, and a little bit extra on top of that. But obviously, we still prevailed on YouTube. We, we, we grew phenomenally. Thank you that has supported me on YouTube. From there, he quickly started to transform his content from gaming and variety streams to Omegle trolling, popularizing the now famous hacking series alongside other skits like Titty Baiting, Dwayne the Plane, Father Daughter, Blues Clues, and much more. But it wasn't until he wanted to reach TikTok audiences is when he started going going on a downward spiral. The more his TikTok started to grow, the more he started to be fixated on being labeled that creepy bald guy. He leaned into that character to the point where it wasn't a character anymore. He talked about kidnapping, killing, and viciously attacking strangers on Omegle in an attempt to scare them off the platform, even using his wife in multiple instances to play a kidnapped girl who's about to die. There are even rumors that he taught his dog, Masha, to be racist. Proven by how his dog <laughs> frequently tries to bite another content creator, something about chickens, but shows nothing more but love and affection for the other collaborators he invites to his house. I picked up the rail from the airport today. The second he got here, the first thing that happened was Masha immediately hit him in the crotch. It's actually really funny. I've been seeing Darrell run around the house and running and closing the door before Masha can get in because Masha is just, she's just kind of racist. She's just been beating the shit out of Darrell all day. It's honestly pretty funny. Don't get me wrong, Hyphonics has done his fair share of questionable things in the past. But seeing all <laughs> of this Elizabeth. evidence together, John killing his wife never seemed like an if, but more when. It just felt inevitable. And all of that would be confirmed by one Discord post when John announced, to the shock of all of his community, that he would be retiring. Hey guys, won't be able to do the digging stream today as promised. A few things got in the way, and let's just say that right now, I'm more focused on burying more than just a time capsule. <laughs> ha ha ha, joking. I don't know when I'll be back, but it's safe to say that for now, I'm retired. News articles started to come out about Sophia's disappearance after viewers noticed that her Instagram has been inactive for months. And last we've heard from Hyphonics, he's fled the country and moved to either Thailand or Canada. So if we've learned anything from this, it's to never trust that creepy bald guy.